Simba, I'm trying to walk down the stairs. Simba, I'm trying to walk down the stairs. You want to eat? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. It's about 5.30 a.m. Boo slept in the cat tower all night. Stella and Simba slept on the bed all night, totally stretched out. They took over the whole thing. And I think Splash was on patrol. This is Boo's favorite spot in the house. Boo said he wants to pose in the scratch and roll. Be a nice boy. Be a nice boy, boo. There's Simba. Boo says he's gonna take a nap. Simba, I'm trying to walk down the stairs. Simba. Trying to walk down the stairs. You want to eat? You want some breakfast? Simba, would you like to eat some breakfast? You're going to have to let me walk. Come on, Simba. I got to walk. He wants me to jump over him. Simba, move. Move over, Simba. Move over, Simba. Simba, move. Move over. Move, Simba, move. You don't want to move. I give the cats their food. They're eating on their barbecue platters. They're having their nature's variety instinct raw chicken medallions. And Boo does not want to come downstairs for his food. For some reason, he does not want to come downstairs. He pokes his head around the corner, but that's it. And that's his food. So I'm going to bring his food up to him. Right now it's about 4.52 p.m. And it's raining out because we've been having thunderstorms today. And I just looked outside and all of the geese are like enjoying the rain. This is like a multi-family geese tribe. That's easily, easily two families of geese if not three. Look at that. They are all out there just loving the rain. And they're all getting a bath. They're all cleaning themselves in the rain.
They're making sure their feathers are nice and neat and clean. I'm sorry if the camera is moving a lot. I am like super zoomed in right now. Oh yeah, they're just hanging out on the street. Okay, all of a sudden the geese have moved onto my yard and I noticed that one of the geese has a broken arm or a broken wing. But, you know, they're pooping on my lawn. Which, you know, is not good. It actually might be good because it probably fertilizes the lawn. But it's not good because when I go outside, then I could step in it. This is the goose with the broken wing. I feel really bad for it, but, you know, there's nothing I could do. I don't know if it was hit by a car or what. But it seems very mobile, like it has no problem walking or anything, it's just that wing is pretty mangled up. That goose on the left is one of the geese in charge. Because it's telling the other ones what to do. There they go, off into the woods again.
previous footage has music on it because I was on the phone while I was filming it and uh, there's no way I could use the audio for that. But let me tell you what happened. So I was feeding the cats dinner downstairs and I came upstairs and I look out the back door and Hydrox is like standing on the back step and he's like looking at me and it was like really weird. He was just like looking at me through the window and I was like, oh, okay, Hydrox, you want to eat? So I put the food together and by the time I put the food together and went outside, he was standing like under that plastic chair near the garage. While I was taking the plate of food out to Hydrox, I noticed that one of the baby raccoons was eating out of the automatic feeder. And I don't know how much food was in the automatic feeder because I don't know how much was eaten by Hydrox or anyone else. But what happened was I put the plate of wet food down for Hydrox and he looked at it and then he walked away. And I was like, well, that's really weird. But then what happened was after he walked away, the raccoons came over to the plate of food. So I really think Hydrox is looking out for these two little raccoon babies because he seems to be wanting to make sure that they have enough food. And he also, when they come around to the patio, he likes to come around to the patio also. So um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but that's what just happened. Okay, I wasn't going to film this because it's late and I'm tired, but it's just so funny. So it's crunchy time for the cats. They get crunchies before I go to bed. And they assemble in the same spot like every time. Like here's Boo, he waits here for his crunchies. And then Stella has to wait here, Simba waits there, and Splash waits there. So they're in like the same exact spots they were in yesterday for their crunchies. Splash will come over once I start handing out crunchies. And Boo's already sitting. Good boy, Boo. Good boy, you're a good boy sitting down. Now there was just a little bit of a fight between Boo and Simba. I did not see it. I was in the bathroom, but I heard it. Um, I don't know what happened, but again, Simba screamed and then ran under the dining room table. So, I don't know. Boo is eating his crunchies. Simba's eating his crunchies. Estella's eating her crunchies. And Splash is eating his crunchies. Eat your crunchies, Splash. Okay, we are on our second round of crunchies. They get a half tablespoon each round. Boo's eating his crunchies. Simba's eating his crunchies. Stella's eating her crunchies. And Splash is eating his crunchies. And they are done with their crunchies after this round. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.